What's good guys, since you leave from Tech Tube, now smartwatches have gotten really advanced in the past couple of years, but do you really need one? Guys, you will never have to pay full price for games ever again, guys, because G2A offers the cheapest city keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the first link down below. Now, this is a question I've been wanting to tackle for months, ever since I got a smartwatch last June. I've been wearing my Moto 360 ever since the day I got it. I wore it to schools, to parties, and even on trips. All I have to say is that it's very useful when you need it, but very annoying when you don't. For an example, in class, I usually have my phone on silent, so that means if someone calls me or sends me a text, I can't use my phone to see who's calling me or who sent me a text. But with my Moto 360, I can easily answer the call, if my teacher allows me, or I can decline the call without having to pull out my phone. But what's also useful is that if you slide up, you get some quick replies to text the person I'm busy right now, what's up, which is really useful. And if they reply back, I can see the text and then respond with some quick replies, an emoji, or just use my voice to dictate what I want to say. However, I've been in situations where my watch is about to die in the middle of class. Which brings us to our next topic, battery life. Now different smartwatches have different battery life, but expect to charge them every night or if you're lucky, every two nights. But there is one smartwatch company that excels in battery life, Pebble. If you guys haven't heard of Pebble, Pebble is a company that builds not the best smartwatches, but has the greatest battery life. A Pebble watch like the Pebble Time or the Pebble Time Steel can get you a week of battery life, which is just crazy. No other smartwatch has come even close. But there are some Pebble watches like the Pebble Time Round, which only give you about three days of battery life. So not as much as the Pebble Time and Pebble Time Steel, but still better than other competing smartwatches. So you gotta be careful when you're picking your smartwatch. Now I will be doing a video on how to choose the best smartwatch for you, so definitely stay subscribed so you don't miss that. So coming back to the video, if you can look past the battery life and a few bugs here and there, then a smartwatch can be really useful and I highly recommend getting one. But if battery life is a problem to you, then you should wait. So coming back to the original question, do you need a smartwatch? No. Not right now at least. Smartwatches are at a state where their functions are basic and the hefty price you put into it, you should just wait. Now if you can find a smartwatch that fits your needs and your budget, then go for it. You'll be happy with it, trust me. But if you can't find one, then wait. Just wait. So aside from that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and did. Be sure to smash that like button down below. Aside from that, if you have any questions, drop us a line down below. Or hit us up on our social medias, which are all linked down below. While you're here, wanna hit that big red subscribe button. Hey, it's free. <laughs> so thanks for watching. This is Angel from TechTube. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later.